All right, welcome in everybody. Welcome, welcome, let's go. We are going to be doing episode three today of the Grounded Xbox stream. Figured why not? Uh, we had nothing else better to do and we needed to uh, make up for <laughs> the horror game we played before this. Uh, we weren't going to be getting much sleep otherwise, <laughs> if I'm being realistic. Um, but before we start really quick, I wanted to thank everybody who's following me. We reached our goal of 30 followers yesterday. We are at 31 now. Thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate you all. Uh, we have a new goal now set for 40, and we are going to be trying to get there. So let's go. All right. Uh, with that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining, and let's get started with Grounded Episode 3. All right. So uh, we need to do some of the labs. We haven't done really much of any of them, and getting some of the labs done is going to get us some really good unlocks in the raw science department. I honestly forgot that we uh, built a chimney in here and a fireplace. Okay. We definitely have some grass planks to be putting down somewhere. Not bad, not a bad little place so far. Nice and quaint. We got our bow, we got 26 arrows, club, hammer, axe. That's right, that's right, we have the tier 2 axe now, guys. So that means we can get these weed stems right here and bring them up here to the stem storage. We also have some planks over here, it looks like, that must have got stuck. Um, we'll put them down here in the pallets real quick. If we do come across something that wants to fight us, well, it's no big deal, because we realize that we're pretty good against the spiders. Well, the orb weavers, anyways. Although they are still startling. <laughs> We had a we had a moment where it was just orb weaver fever. So if you guys missed that, definitely go check out episode two. You'll be shocked at what you could see happen there. All right, one of those already fell up there for us. That's lovely. Love it when that happens. Save us some carrying. We can carry at least 14 things right now. Definitely a plus. Uh, getting in the water for these though, that's gonna be a little more of a challenge. Well, I mean, unless they keep sticking up like that, I'm okay with that. Don't do it. Float towards me a little bit further. A little more, come on. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Something about waiting for sticks to float towards you. Are you s- bruh. I did not- <laughs> I fell in the only gap between the leaf and my frickin' porch. I gotta put something there for real just to prevent that on accident in the future, because clearly I can't make that jump. And look at that! Twelve! Twelve stems already, just ready for whatever we need built. Alright, um... Stamina is gonna be an issue. What do we have on right now? We have Grassmaster and Cardio Fan. Oh, that's Perry Master. Okay, Grass Master's here. We only have phase one of three of Grass Master. Although, we really should put a flooring here. No. Yeah, something like... Don't, don't connect to that. I just want it a little lower. I don't think there's any way around it. It's going to keep trying to connect to the fence. No, almost. Because so we could do something like... Just a little, little bit... Oh man, come on. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. We'll just learn to jump better. Boom. Problem solved. Alright, so we're going to need to start going towards the hedge. Uh, not really particularly excited to go over there, but we need to, so we're going to head that way. Should probably wait for a new morning, though. Alright, it's a deal. We'll wait, we'll wait for the new morning, and then we'll go to the hedge for right now. Let's gather some materials. Ha! Ha! 
Okay, that wasn't very many. Only four stems from that one. Still not bad, though. Could have been much, much worse. I don't know if this pallet will hold all these. Oh, yeah, it will. Huh. We're gonna need another pallet. We should have at least three in a row right there to line up with the fence. Alright, so we need crude rope, pebblets, dry grass, and sprigs. So crude rope, pebblets, dry grass, and sprigs. I think we have plenty of dry grass, but let's grab some here. Crude rope is easy, we just grab a bunch of these fibers. Grab some mushrooms too while we're out here. Sprigs. There's some fibers down here. Hear a baby orb weaver. Ooh, that's a big orb weaver, not a baby. That is far from a baby. Which means it can definitely stay over there. No thank you. We're gonna need a lot of fiber for this. Pebble? Because for every three fiber is one rope. We only have 18, so... We need at least 27 of the fibers to make 9. Sprigs are a must too, as well as pebbles. Where... Oh, hello aphid, you just kinda scared me a little bit, not even gonna lie. Like, I heard the aphid noise, but my brain thought it was something bigger, and so, it, like, I froze for a second. Not the ideal situation when you're getting attacked to freeze. Pebble? We have, what, seven? Oh, we made it all the way over to the mysterious machine. Weird. Yes, I will gladly take this food so we don't starve. Grab the sprigs. I don't remember how many we needed for a pallet, but I want to make sure we're covered. Same thing with pebbles. I could just look up the crafting recipe for it too and see what it costs. Uh, it is four crude rope for each, so we'll need eight. Sixteen. Or wait, no, 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 no. We'll need, yeah, eight crude rope, four pebbles, six dry grass, and eight sprigs. So we have twelve, so we're good on sprigs, we're good on pebbles. We need at least six dry grass, which I think we have in the chest at home, but we can grab more, like, right next to it. And then crude rope, we need at least eight. So let's just craft what we have for the crude rope and see if we have enough for eight. Inventory, we have ten. Okay, so that's enough of those. Enough of those, and then enough of those, so we just need the dry grass now. One, two, and three. Yeah. Four, five, and six. <gasps> I am going to grab some extra sprigs and stuff along the way, though, so next time we need some, we don't have to go as far to look for it. Better to have and not need than need and not have. All right. Oh man. We got so much to explore. This is going to be awesome. Okay, I think we definitely have plenty of everything for the pallets. Should also be getting nighttime soon so we can go on a fresh morning over to the hedge. Perfect. Let's relocate that a little bit back, though. There we go. Kind of line them up a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, now let's fill these up really quick. We got some husky weeds around here we can break down. 
Alright, down to here. There's two of them right here. I think this one will be a really good one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a really good one. Oh, wow. I can't even carry all of them. Hold on. Alright, that's definitely good. We do need... I really hope that, like... We do... How do I say this? I really hope... <gasps> Because we need it, that we come across one of the dandelion, like, items. Not the tufts that, like, disappear after each use, but one of the trinkets. Because that is a permanent, like, trinket that never breaks. Oop, almost fell through the hole. Alright, we've got plenty of stems so far. we still got plenty of daylight, too, so we're just going to keep going until it gets dark. <gasps> Grab that big, big one right there. That one's gonna be a juicy stem. Gonna be plenty, plenty, plenty of stems from this one. I, I'm feeling it. It's just too tall not to be. I really want it to fall that way. Oh, wow. I'm trying to keep an eye on where they all went. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10, 11, 12. Okay, I could have swore. Okay, I was say, I could have swore there was one over here. 13 and. Oh, okay. I guess I miscounted already. You run, little Weevil. He's running for his life right now. Alright, almost three full pallets of stems. That's really good. God. That's a lot of stems. It's like 22, <gasps> 23 stems, right? 14 plus another 8. That's ridiculous. Alright, sweet. That's a lot, though. We should be stocked up for now for a little bit. And it's getting evening, so what can we do really quick? Ooh, I know something we can do really fast while we have the time. Look at that bee flying away. Alright, as long as we don't turn in the first super chip yet, technically, uh... We won't release the mosquitoes. Let's see what goes out of here. Alright, we got tadpoles. I want to grab some of the lily pad wax, though. I'm thinking that'll be a really good idea to scan it. Especially because we don't know how much we're going to need of it. Pop up for some air. Grab some more wax. Alright, not bad, not bad. Can't remember, is there anything in the net here? Just leaves. We could get pollen over here to scan too. From the little sunflowers. Check under the flowers for pollen. The bees tend to be a little bit messy when they're pollinating and drop some of their pollen on the ground, so... That's a red ant. I was making sure it wasn't a fire ant. Oh, wait, no way! It's one of my arrows, guys! <laughs> That's crazy, we found it. From what, though? Oh, here's another one! Oh, is this from the ones we shot at the bee before? 
That's cool. We got one of our arrows back. We found the other one, but we can't reach that one. Oh, we got some nectar. <gasps> yeah, I kind of heard it a little bit, but I wasn't sure. I'm feeling more sciencey already. Uh, I'm sorry. Is that a mosquito? It sure is. They're usually not out and about the yard until you uh, do the first super chip. And they'll be like all over that rock right there. Weird. I saw that one over there, but I'm not worried about it. Oh, I'm sorry, you want to run that by me again? Yeah, no thanks. I don't want to deal with no diving bell spider right now. Oh my god, that tadpole literally... <laughs> I didn't see it until it got close. I was looking up at the little exclamation point in the home sign, and I looked down, and then boom, tadpole in my face. Oh, that was refreshing, I guess. Still has some daylight left. I really thought it was later in the day when I said we'll go on a fresh morning. I didn't realize that it was basically morning. I must have slept before the last time I saved and quit and then forgot about it. But we got some stuff to scan and check out, so that's nice. Oh, we got one thing to scan. Green machine. Available, already filled. Raise the banner of Burgle at the Oak Tree Beacon. Kill gnats and grubs. And we got 7,000. Fortified bases would be good to have for when we're doing, like, defense things. Oh, come on. Gonna have a look uh, around. Was that what I think it was? Yes, it was. It was a baby orb weaver. Alright, we're going to go to the hedge. I don't even care if we wake up in the dark. We're heading towards the hedge as soon as we go to sleep right now. Because we're, we we're wasting time, basically. Just standing around. I will keep mushrooms on me for food. But the rest of it's going away. Where's our bed? Uh, upstairs. Boom. Uh, we can't sleep until 18. Two more hours. Alright, let's gather some grass. We got two hours, which is like 10 minutes, 9 minutes in real life. So, something like that. Shouldn't take too long. Grab a little grass for our deck while we're waiting real quick. Six pieces for the pallet. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Where did you come from? Can we talk about this? Oh man, orb weavers. Just one of my last nerve annoyances at this point. At least the baby ones, they just pop up out of nowhere. Right. 
I know it's the crow up there making the pounding noise, but it's still a little startling. Man, imagine if they made a game like this, but like in the city or something. You're small, trying to survive, and you know, there wouldn't be much for resources. Or like maybe do like a jungle type area. I don't know. Never know. What can we craft while we're here? We just need a, a larva spikes and grub hides for that. Insect hammer, we need berry leather, we have the boiling gland for it, and stink bug parts, which I'm not too fond of fighting just yet. Not until we have a gas mask. Speaking of... What do we need? Nat fuzz and a stink bug part, of course. Gotta fight one to make it. That's cool. But not all that bad. Alright, there, we got that achievement done too, or the level, or not level, the mission or whatever for crafting a bandage too. We don't have any food to cook. Can we sleep now? Nope. Like, 20 more seconds, and then we'll be able to sleep. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Ugh, sorry, not trying to yawn mid-greet. Mid Let's try that again. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Thank you guys for joining. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Much better. All right, let's sleep to morning. Hey, guys, leave a comment below if you're watching this on YouTube. And, uh, let me know what, like, what, um, what's it called? What lab you think that we should do after we do the hedge? Or maybe put down your favorite lab, and we'll try and do that one. Uh, but first we are going to go ahead and do the hedge really quick. So we put our flooring in, we'll close that, so if something does manage to get up the leaf, doesn't get in the house fresh new morning let's make our way over we are going to want to try and grab some dandelion tufts on the way there just so we have an emergency use item in case we do fall out of the tree because otherwise it'll mean instant death so that won't be fun so where is that dandelion right there is that i'm stuck under the okay Oh no, where'd the tufts go? Oh. They were oddly all caught... ...by the... Okay. Thank you, Clovers. I appreciate that. Making a job easy. We'll need three Clovers. Uh, do we have our shovel? Yes. This could be our last grub right here. It is! Boom, there's that challenge done, too, on the way to the hedge. <gasps> we are a little faster with our bow out than a two-handed weapon. Oh, we could have raised the banner at the oak tree. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, this is not a good area to be. Maybe we don't cut straight through. Guild station. Oh, audio log. I'll try and be quiet for you guys for it. I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. 
Almanent may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in... Four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? <gasps> Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. An auspicious beginning. Whoa, a yoked girth action figure. Gross, what is that? Looks like a shriveled up agency. Or maybe Mr. Dickerson. Okay, ooh, jeez. Oh, where are you going? You don't get to run after all that. You're gonna battle me and then run away after your one hit left? I mean, it, it is something I would do just to make sure I don't die, but still! <laughs> You're an AI. You're supposed to attack me endlessly. Oh, okay. Okay! That's a little intense for me. Nah, oh, man, come on. I was gonna say, not this close to the tree. Don't do this to me. Or not the tree, the hedge. I'm practically here. I don't care about the one arrow. I will sacrifice the one arrow for now. You know what? I think we can get these guys, though, from here. Did I get him? We just barely clipped his foot! Hey, I'm not gonna complain. I need those arrows back, though. Alright, where are we at? 23 out of 25? Come on, give me the arrow. There we go. No shot. I'm stuck. Beetle here, beetling along. Bro, did he lose me already? Not giving up, but neither was I. How am I still only at 23 arrows? Where am I missing one at? Oh, there we go, there's one, and there's the other one. There's really three bombardiers over here. It's not worth fighting a third one. We need to get into the hedge before we waste all of our daylight. Bro, these mites. There's no way I just missed that. Are you for real right now? 
I'm not getting punked by mites right now. Well, a little bit, but... There we go. Alright, 25 arrows, we're, we're back to regular, let's get into this hedge. Oh, they got garden snippers here instead now? Okay, last time I played this, guys, the uh, hedge entrance here had a little paper clip, and that was it. Wow, quality of life update, yes please. <laughs> Well, another audio tape for you guys. I'll try and be quiet for you. The Kinder Science lab modules have not held up as well as anticipated. I thought hiding these lab units in the hedge would provide a bit of protection from my rampaging children. But it appears not even the sanctuary of these leaves can protect my work from an errant flingman disc. The subsequent breaches in the lab structures have invited all manner of arachnid invaders to wander in. My plan is to recalibrate the tasty bots for defensive action. A stopgap solution, to be <laughs> sure, but I've no time for repairs, not when I'm so close to unlocking the mysteries of raw science. I love that they're called Tasties. Science is surprisingly like tasty. awesome. That's great. All right, play it safe. We got eight possible safeties to catch us if we fall. Question is, can we break this before it falls off? No, 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 oh man. You know what, two out of three ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. Oh, hello, little juice. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I bought the stuff. I bought. I brought the stuff for it, but I didn't build it. A lean-to in case for some reason we fall out of the hedge. Boom, boom, and set spawn. We could move it if we need to. They actually couldn't hurt to put it back up here a little bit. There we go. This is awesome! Let's see Hello, what's around creepy here. lab. Anything in here I need to scan? I see you. All right, raw science. Ooh, reboot. Test one. Date nine twenty eighty nine. Time two ten a.m. Hedge observation unit supervising scientist Dr. Wendell Tully. Frequent spacer use is putting a drain on cell volume supplies. Recalibrate the surveyor system to focus on needed components. Save new location profile and upload to Tasty Units 009 and 017 for extraction. Results. Failure. Numerous system errors. Unknown interference during the scanning process. Likely radio waves of some sort. Possible sources. Neighbor, Bill Henderson. The kids. Inspector Hackett walkie-talkie set. Ominent? Question mark? Signed. W. For Wendell. Ooh, audio tape. Google transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you, Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. Alright guys, so because I had that up the entire time for the audio, 
log or whatever, I'm not gonna read that. I'm gonna let you guys read that one. If you wanna just like, you know, pause it, rewind or whatever. I kinda slowly scrolled through it so you have a chance to read through it if you want to. We got the surveyor scanners Scabby. up and running. Surveyor connection established. Use survey stations to scan for analyzed materials. Visit right, additional sweet. stations to expand the survey network. All right, now we got to make it back over this way. I will pass on all the baby spiders, though. Another little lab area. Gonna have a look around. <sighs> yeah, I did not like that. I tried to scan him as quick as I could. I started to block for a second because I thought he was going to get me. He never told me okay, we got to another be this exciting. Audio tape. A lot more granola bars. We're getting a bunch of those. Another scabby. There's a sp there's a spawn point right here. We could have just you know used that. Take everything from there. You know what? We might as well just use it. Set respawn point for now. It's closer to the actual lab. For so long, I have felt taunted by the spiders of the yard. Climbing, crawling, skittering with the greatest of ease. Oh, and how they delight in violating my workspace. I can't take a single step without getting stuck in their confounded webbing. I'm wasting daylight, running, climbing, surviving, traversing this broken lab, the entire yard, Yo, for that matter. That's a new fling man who weighs our tenable. Bet I could spin that sucker all the way to Miss Marlowe's yard. Mm, More maybe. little spiders. Alright, we're taking care of these guys from up here. No way you just dodged that. Bruh, they dodge it? Oh, never mind. I probably just released as they were moving. We're just really low on health, so... Crap. My arrows are rolling off. Yeah, all my arrows are rolling off. Well, not all of them, but... Pretty good majority of them. We are really close to de dying, yeah, so let's let's not do that. <gasps> hey, there's the other berry chunks we wanted. We are way close picky. to death. Let's eat some granola bars to heal up. That's probably the smartest thing we could have done. Okay, glad we made it onto there. Was 
there a reason to let go here? Is there anything I can even look for or get? Maybe? No. Alright. More baby spiders, let's go. Bro, I didn't know you were going to be hiding. Don't you have a friend in here somewhere? We also got bandages, we can't forget about those. Today, Trudy asked, uh, or rather insisted, I take a break from my work for a family day. I'll admit, the argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't understand how important the work is. But in the end, all was not lost. As fate would have it, our little trip to Storm and Beaches Wave Park has given me fresh inspiration. A particular attraction exported a zipline over an undulating pool filled with sun-baked tubers. Basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> But I digress. It was the zip line that captured my imagination. Such an elegant solution to my problems in the hedge. When we got home, it was straight back to work. After another argument, of course. Oh, no. Aha, blocked. I didn't want to interrupt the, uh... Hold on one second, boom. I really didn't want to interrupt the audio log, so I was waiting, but I tried to highlight it for you guys. Did you see I got the stink bug part from the egg sack there that we needed? So, that's awesome. <laughs> we don't have to go kill a stink bug now. Okay, it's not worth... Oh, wait, where? The music means something's on to me. What? What is it? I hear it's pitter-patter. It's behind me somewhere. Okay, it stopped. Good. We need to really play it safe on these skinny branches now. Ooh, a little uncomfortable, but we got it. I believe! Alright. Mutation detected. Natural explorer. We can move faster with that. Another audio log for you guys. Early test runs on the zipline system have produced mixed results. Prices on steel cable are ridiculous, so I've been forced to proceed with my original idea. Spider thread. I'm using web samples from my unwanted guests with a few clever alterations, of course. Things were going well until Sarah threw yet another toy into the hedge. I swear that the lost city of Atlantis might be found beneath the roots of this blasted bush. I told them both. No baseballs, no flingman discs, no more throwing. I'll need to find a way to strengthen the zip lines, and I've forbidden the children from playing in the yard temporarily, of course. Dinner will be, I would say, awkward, I suspect. All right. The reason I'm outside the lab right now is because I know that there's a piece of paper out here for the password. There's one in the main room and then there's uh, two different zip lines you need to take to get to the other ones. Or you could just drop in this right here. Alright, let's get ready. What do we have as our best weapon? Pretty good on health, so let's just drop in. Why are there so many of these guys? I don't know why I cannot block them at all right now. There we go. Boom, barbarian, let's go. That's what I was waiting for. Take off, what? No, I'll keep cardio fan on, put on barbarian, where is that? Give us some more damage to our ant club here. 
Oh, you see a little orb weaver over there? Did you see that? Nah, he waiting for us. Let's use some of these bandages, though. Alright, that'll heal us up the rest of the way. We got one of the sheets for the log. We can open the door from this side. As soon as we get our stamina back, we need to eat. Food. And now just for filling up our food. Boom. Whoa, whoa, chill, man. Got a new one. Oh, there's a tasty. Ow. Alright. They were kind of a pain, but we got them. Oh, you're a rusty. Why are these already gone? Aphid figurine! Aphid statue we can now craft, guys. What? Rascal rogue. Another hundred raw science, some free berry chunks somewhere around here. Yeah. Boom. Okay, I know there was something around here. It's not even a file we can pick up. Oh, very. We'll take that though. I will gladly take that. There's another sheet in there. Boom, easy peasy. What is this? Is this Muller? Let's go! This was never here before. A free milk muller, I love it. Alright, second part of the password. I think we can make it right in here and go back up. Oh no, you're kidding me, that's locked. It's okay, we'll get back up there. We'll have to parkour our way up or something. Oh no. Alright, leaf parkour it is, guys. We gotta make it up here. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Can't move! Yes, thank you, webbing. Thank you, webbing. That webbing saved us. Ooh, golden milk molar. We need the second tier hammer for it. Dang it. This is where we wanted to be, though, because look, this goes into the main area we were just in before. Let's go down and unlock that bottom door so if we do get stuck, we don't have to parkour our way up and hope there's a web in the way. Science! Why are you Damn. locked? I thought it was webbed over. I guess not. Maybe we have to unlock it by finding all of the password. Which still kind of sucks, because... That's what I'd be needing it for, was if I couldn't... Yeah. These little spiders need the creeps. Ow! At least tell me what part you guys dropped. What was it? Is that a gnat fuzz? Hey, Some stink bug parts again? Let's go. See, it's worth opening those to me in the little, like, sealed areas like this where I know I won't, you know, get... Oh my gosh. Ow, I blocked that. Well, I guess clearly not. 
I attempted to block that. Okay, that goes out. This goes up. Which is where we were before. But this goes up, up. I'm trapped in a web! <gasps> I think this is the big old storage room up here. It is. We will take quartzite shards with us. We will take silk rope because that means we don't have to craft it. I won't take things like planks and stems from here right now because there's no point. Plant fiber is always a yes. See, I'm not going to touch the planks or the stems. We don't need those. Clovers, I'll grab some. Well, I guess I'll take them all. Oh, that kind of startled me, not gonna lie. Can I grab that, please? That's awesome. Dry grass, yes. Definitely can't pass this up. Some acorn bits. Did we never drop off our sap from before? Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Where is it? I'm not picky. Boom. Clear spot. Full slots. Oh, you've just been sleeping here. Hello. Goodbye. Sweet. Our last piece is down from here. Yeah, we'll have to go back up through here and go around the other side. We are gonna have to deal with the Orb Weaver Jr., but again, that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Trying to conserve my energy right now. Is it sleeping right now? Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Boom! Okay, that was very good. Wait, I don't want to lose all that. Here, I'll drop the one dry grass. That's a lot of web fiber to lose. The spider, oh, the spider chunk is a real thing. Okay, well, what if we condense all of our fibers into crude ropes? Do we then have, we do have a spot. All right. I'm not a hundred, what am I stuck on here? I'm not a hundred percent sure if that was the whole password or not. We have the stuff on us to make an eye patch for plus attack and damage resist. Wait a minute. That could be very helpful to us right now. Oh, I see. I can't put it on. Um, what can I eat? What can I eat? Let's do the ganachos. You can be smart, fast, that. lucky, or just wear some armor. So yeah, we can carry less, but at least we can do more damage. Here's another audio tape for you guys. Slowly, my torments come together into one ingenious solution. After trying countless materials, I finally found something to fix my zipline problem. 
While the bonding formulas were complex to say the least, I've successfully fused the web ropes with raw science. Once again, it proves to be the key. The new ropes are miraculously soft, but have the tensile strength of forged steel. I've dubbed my new creation Zippy Fiber. Just think of the practical applications. Dental floss. Oh, only something without gums would suggest that. This is not some trifle to pick parsley between trips to the periodontist. I will take your word for it, Dr. Tully. All right. Put in our password. Is that correct? Invalid password, huh? Are we missing one of the sheets? I think we are. Oh, what can we get rid of? Alright, now we can take that. Any of the stuff scannable? Yes. Berry leather. Gas arrow and gastro gyu. Stink bug part. Stuff stink bug, stink bug mount, and repair glue. I would have been really sad if I missed that. I'm feeling more sciencey already. The Orb Weaver Jr. woke up over there. Let's not. this way to the main terminal I believe now we should have all the password there we go got a picture of Tully a himself beat. look at him oh, super yeah. chip Burgle's gonna be and so then one happy more to get audio some of file for you guys back. again <laughs> maybe he'll make me a burger or something Oh, what's this? A duper disc. Okay. It didn't play that audio log for you guys, though. Where was that? The hedge. Evacuation. There you go. Play it is it for you guys. likely that this will be my last log from the hedge lab. Regrettably, the spider infestation is only worsened. Last night, I had a close encounter with a giant broodmother that shook me to my core. Couple that with the strange radio signals I've been receiving, and I no longer think this facility is safe. Ah. for the hedge lab. Make sure any remaining biometric scanners and passcodes are encrypted in the mainframe. Is that really necessary, sir? Yes. Oh, yes. Absolutely necessary. We're being watched. You know, I hear it's good luck to see a firefly. All right. We need to make our way back home now. Yep, nope. I will respawn at Kid Case and go from there.
We've scanned everything we found, basically, though. Which means we can now finally make the gas mask. Because we have stink bug parts. <laughs> really hoping we'll unlock hyper stamina on, like, three soon by running out of stamina so often. We could only be so lucky. I mean, eventually we will get it. We just have to bleed our stamina to zero enough times. Plus our inventory is full, which is usually a hot commodity in any game that I play that has an inventory. It's always full. I try to keep it a little organized, but, you know... Sometimes I get distracted and find a lot more to grab, and boom, I don't want to let go of what I got. Oh, still can't make a larva blade, though. Wow. We still need a weevil shield, too. We need raw weevil meat. Four of them. We can make a pebblet dagger for underwater. That's valuable. Oh, that's right. Pebblet dagger dropped because we didn't put anything away. So let's do that. Much better. We should cook that food, though. keep the food on us that will spoil and we'll put the granola bars in there because they don't and then we'll cook that other piece of food here boom all right inventory emptied can I have my dagger now perfect what can we make for armor gas mask. That's what we needed. Boom. And we will keep the gas mask on us at all times if possible. Just because it's a very, very, very good choice to keep with us. Mm. Let's nab up Damn. some of this. Give me a plate of this. There's some more silk rope going in there. Okay. That does give us another space in here, though. We need a better weapon. That's our next priority. Don't get me wrong, the two-handed weapons are great, but I prefer a one-handed. So, Larva Blade's probably going to be our best bet. There's a big spider sleeping under me, I can hear it. Alright, let's go to sleep. Ah, we'll wake up at 10, but who cares. So we missed four hours of the day. Well, we cleared out this, the, you know, big ol' hedge. Um, what do we need for this? Five clay? I passed clay so many times. We should also set our spawn point here so we're not back in the hedge. There we go. Okay. Let's go turn this into burgle. We can just run through the entire middle here as long as we don't wake him up. Oh, them. As long as we don't wake them up. Just another spider. Eh, not too scary. Not like you never killed one before. If I just hug the walls, they'll never know I was here. Perfect. Then we need to raise the banner at the oak tree, too, while we're over here. Mm -hmm. 
Where's the water container? I know it's in here somewhere. We do need to eat too. Oh, that filled up our wa- oh no, it filled up our energy. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought I saw the water container in here somewhere. It is, I know it is, but where? Ah, uh, right there. Oh, again. There we go, fill up that water. Talk to Burgle now, give him the chip. Oh, Burgle! Good morning! How can I help you today? I found a super chip you for you. Back in one piece. How unexpected. You are more resourceful than I thought. Wow, what faith he had in us. Holy Head crap. Over and we can see what data Dr. Tully backed up upon it. Processing. Processing. Okay. This is the hedge super chip. Forgive me, I forgot to mention the nasty spiders before I sent you up there. I hope they uh -huh. were not too much trouble. Haha. -ha. Haha, <laughs> no, they, they were annoying, uh, but that's about it. I am feeling much more like myself. Take it from me, there's nothing quite like a reverse lobotomy. Thank you! Uh, alright. Virgil, you have feelings? Dr. Tully has included emotional programming to make me more human-like. Yeah, we've never heard of that going wrong in any movie or story about robots ever. Feelings enhance my cooking and grilling features. Every burger flip has a great deal of love put into it. Now, what is it you were wanting to know? Oh yes, the location of the other super chips. There are four labs throughout the yard, each with a super chip. The hedge lab, the pond lab, the haze lab, and the black ant lab. Oh, okay. And you have already made it through the hedge, so now on to the others. I will mark the locations of the super ch chips in those labs. Please find them and return to me so we can figure out how to repair the spacer. Oh, before you leave, check out the new recipes in the ASL Terminal Science Shop. That could be helpful for some of the tougher challenges. Goodbye, Max. Have to keep things clean, there's experimentation to be done. Okay, we've got one of the milk molars. We should probably increase something. Or maybe we should wait until we have enough to get max really active mutations. That seems way better, so we can put on three than two. Let's do that. Let's save. 13.1. Okay. Zip lines. We want that ladder. Eh, we could make stairs, but let's do it anyways. Zip lines and ladders should be good. We'll save the rest, maybe. Ooh, look at those pictures for the crow. That's pretty cool. Spongy legs to reduce fall damage. And then buff lungs mutation. Max stamina. Yeah, we'll keep that one. We've also got zip lines. That's my favorite part of this whole thing. Alright, burgle flag up in the front of the oak tree beacon. We gotta go do that. That one's actually super easy to do because it's just a flag they put up there already. Like a little beacon thing, you just gotta open it. You used to have to craft an actual marker for those locations and bring the stuff with you to craft it, but you can see it up Let's there. Let's see the what's around here. Flag beacon thing right there. Did I run out of dandelion tufts, or did I put them all in the chest? <gasps> I think I might have put them all in the chest. Alright, we can find plenty of gnats here at night, too. Science. Gathered all around the light. Alright. Retrieve the next super chip, analyze an eelgrass strand, craft fin flops, and craft whetstone or plating. Probably be easier to 
analyze an eelgrass strand. Okay, yeah, no thanks. Let's put this right there so we can easily switch to it. Oh no. Mosquitoes are out. Uh, okay, Peblet Dagger. Waiting for the stamina to fill up. Go up to the water for air. Catch our breath. Watch out for the big koi fish in the water. Which is somewhere in the pond. It's got to make it down to an eelgrass strand. That's it. as we can get as much as we can get the better no I missed the air bubble ah I thought I'd make it in time but I missed the grass so many times Mosquitoes are going to be really annoying, too. Alright, point marker, and we can make plant fibers from those, apparently, also. Alright, we got a daily kill ladybug. That's not bad. I saw one over here. And it's alright, when we come across it, we'll worry about it. really need to finish this so we can build the zip line. It's kind of why I want it. Gonna have a look around. We can go from the table to here. Yeah. All right, we need to go get grass ASAP. Which means we need to deal with these orb weavers so that way they're no longer a problem under us. Meals on wheels. Alright, Orb Weaver. <laughs> Couldn't block, but that's cool. Okay, whatever. We still won. <gasps> There's the ladybug. Ladybug, you left me no choice. You put me really low on health and I had no choice. Don't do it. Don't do it, Mr. Ant. Aw. That's alright, we'll leave him be. Oh, wait, orb weavers are no longer an issue. Let's go get our grass. Duh. But let's also put on grass master. For faster chopping. Oh wow, we sliced it off. Well, at least the plank didn't stay dangling up there this time. 
Oh, that's right. We took off our ant helmet, I'll so we can only carry 11 now. There we go. 14. I could have sworn more than f that fell from there. <laughs> nice neuter, dude. All this grass to put away. Make sure there was none above me. I, I still don't think that'll be enough to finish the flooring out there. Those all fall the same direction? Alright, I will take that. That is okay with me. That Where might be to enough win? to finish the flooring. We should find out. I know we're probably still gonna need more supplies for the zipline itself, plus we have to go to the other side where we wanna build the zipline and build it there too. That's gonna require some building and then we need enough silk rope after that to reach both directions. So, we should eventually build another one of these here with this. We have enough, we don't have clay. Oh man, just four clay, that's it. Hmm. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's finish building some of the ramp here. Are we really too short? We are. Sad. That was actually kind of cool. We made it dance and spin. Come on now. And then we need four clay and then everything on the base currently, other than the zip line we're about to put up, will be built. That's always a plus. All right, now we need to identify where we're going to put the zip line like over out there. Let's There's see a few what's different around. Locations here. I'd want one. Location I'd want one there. On the I'd also want one over there somehow. Maybe dead on across like that. Nah, there's a lot of mosquitoes over there to build up next to, if so. Yeah, I still think maybe that's the best option. So we'll go to the crafting, look for the zip line anchor. And we don't want the wall one because we don't have a bee stinger yet. And we need clay for this also. Alright, I want to make this line up as nicely as possible. Alright, so... F let's see, four, eight more clay is what we'll need. We need to go into the water. Unless there's a better place for clay. We could just use the resource scanner and search. Let's do that. I mean, we have the scanner for a reason. Let's use it. Clay. Okay, I know there's plenty over there. Alright, let's go to it. 
I didn't really want to go into the water in all honesty. Meals on wheels. Oh crap. Okay, that's a bigger problem too. Orb weavers are not my friends. Orb weavers are definitely not my friends. 30 meters to some clay, not bad. But we need at least eight pieces, so. And there's only six here. Oh, well, that's all six of those ones. Oh, you know what? I think there is some more over this way, though. Is that a gnat? Where is it? Oh! I was going to say, I only have to get one more of you guys, so where are you? Stop flying around for a second. Bro, stop flying around for one second. Are you kidding me right now? There we go. Alright. Can I get my arrow back somehow? Let's go! Alright. Oh, we need one more bit of clay, huh? There's some in this water? Alright, we gotta get back home. Easiest way to get home right now. We just give up and respawn. Just like a quick way back. Oh, we're also gonna need four clay for the uh, return zipline. All right, let's uh, deposit everything that we don't need. Are my dandelion tufts in here somewhere? They are. Why are they in here? Okay, a proper sort on the backpack. We'll keep all expired food. Because we can use that for when we build farming plots and stuff. Oh, we can make a gill tube for breathing underwater. We really need to start making armor dummies soon if we're gonna do that. Oh man. Here, let's make the gill tube. Right? Because we're gonna need it anyways. Because we need to breathe underwater right now. Nice and safe. So we can go get some more clay. And then we'll put build some dummies up with that and then go from there. Uh, let's do it in the daytime though, so the water kind of sh like shines through the water. Makes it easier to see. So, boom, and can't sleep. So, I guess we're going now. <gasps> Not gonna lie, that ladybug scared the crap out of me for a second. Oh, you are kidding me right now. Having a little peek. Get the boatman fins, come on. Dang, he was fast as hell. Water boatman fin times two. That's all we need for the fin flops, though, isn't it? Ooh, there's some clay that we'll need for the return zip line. Oh no, stamina. Come on, don't do this to me right now. Not bad, not bad. 
Uh, hello, quartzite shards. Don't mind if I do. Oh, jeez. Come here, boatman. And they refill our air when we, you know, when we get rid of these guys. So. And another boatman fin in case we need another one. Oh god, no. Nope, not messing with the freaking diving bell spiders. Oh man, so I gotta mess with mosquitoes instead. Not the better alternative, not gonna lie. Not even remotely. Oh god. Alright, we need to make it over to our marker there, start building some stuff up, and put a zip line over there back so we can send some grass over <gasps> if we need to. <sighs> So we can scan all these things. Sweet. We do need to watch out for the uh, wolf spiders that are out and about now, though, because that will be a problem. Gotta keep putting up our silk rope. There's nothing matching in here at all. Anything we can take out. Mm, we can take out the thistle needles and put them with the, uh, the arrows and stuff. Okay, we're gonna need another storage. It's just that simple. Boom. I put my dandelions in there again. You know what? It's fine. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. Maybe that's where they belong. Alright, we'll let that cook. See if we can get some rest now. Now let's do it. We'll still be done before 7pm that way. <gasps> Ooh, cutscene. I'll be quiet for you guys. Nightmare was crazy. Dang. Like watching a movie. Spacer? Hominid? I know adults have nightmares about work, but I don't think their kids are supposed to. I have to tell Burgle about that. That's crazy. We gotta get rid of that marker on the map. That clay marker is gonna really set me off. I'm gonna get confused. Boom. Alright, so now we need to hurry up and start cozying up the place a little bit, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Yes! Full working chimney with smoke, let's go! 
little fireplace for us. What else can we do to make the house look more nice? Hmm, we could get a berry chair in here at some point. Ooh, armor dummies are really important for the extra armor that we got going on for us. You know what? Let's do it. Boom. We'll just kind of space them apart. We'll put a bunch up for all the different sets. I don't remember how many there are. I feel like five or six of them should be good just for decorative purposes. That's more than five or six. That's eight. But still. I feel like eight will be plenty. Hmm. I don't think we have the stuff to even build one of them right now, do we? We're missing the crude rope. Okay, we're missing clay and sprigs now. But on the bright side, we can easily put on our other stuff here. Take that back, though. Gill tube in that one. We'll put the gas mask on this one. And then we'll keep the ant armor on us. All geared up. And the eye patch for damage in case we really, really, really need it. What else can we put in here? We'll eventually put a grass table up here somewhere. Like maybe here in the corner. Kind of in the corner. Are we really just missing the grass planks for the table? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, aphid statue, let's go. That's going in the corner here next to the fireplace. Yeah, look at it. It's lovely. Oh, coziness level two, let's go. Hauling hero. Yes, where is that? Boom. Take off cardio fan for that, guys. You know how much we're going to be able to pick up then? It's going to be insane. Or we could just go get some more milk molars. We'll need a level 2 hammer, though. What are we missing for it? Alright, level 2 hammer. Stink bug part. We need three more. And then berry leather. We need four, but we don't have a drying rack yet. Oh no. Jerky rack. We have the stuff for it though. Maybe those should go out here for now. Put like one here. Just for now, we'll move it later, but... Kinda like that, out of the way. Oh, we'll need way more Bombardier parts for this. And we'll need five more rope for at least one of them to be done. That's easy, though. We can get two birds with one stone. We'll get planks and some fiber that way. Wait a minute. Alright. More silk rope. Let's keep it going. Oh, look at that. Grass plank for the table. Alright, missing one plank for the table. We're of course gonna need chairs for it too. Hey there, buddy. Never saw this up there, not even gonna lie to you guys. We should get rid of these out of the way. New item to scan, and it'll make it a little easier for harvesting stuff down here. Because it won't catch the planks. Alright, we can carry 19 now. Look at that. With Red Ant Armor and Tier 1 Hauling Hero, 19 planks. 
That is ridiculous. Huh. I thought I could push it over. Alright, that's nine more planks for the storage. And let's start breaking some of these for some plant fiber. Let's do the ones closer to the house though, so they're not spawning in the house and breaking it and stuff. And we'll have no more hanging pieces in our way. And that'll help us with the missing plant fiber we need for the drying rack. Um, okay, this, this calls for a uh, red ant. Yeah. There we go. Boom. 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 Come on. Are you serious? My hunger is going to mess me up right now. Don't just stand there staring at me. Attack me. There we go. Problem solved for that little guy. Oh, I accidentally switched whole hot pouches. I'm like, wait, did I lose all my items? <laughs> I don't know how that happened. And then we still need stink bug parts, don't we? Man, but at least we scanned him so we can find him now, though, so that's not technically that bad of a deal, you know. Finish the table, increase our coziness a little bit. Really quick, we're going to check what we can add into here. We need a cookery at some point. Put that in the corner over here. That seems like a good spot for it. And we got everything minus the two clay for that. Do collector that could be really important. All right, pebblets and five crude rope. Pebblets, five crude rope, and some clay. Um, we don't need a ladder right now. Ah, uh, we will need some normal chairs around this, though. Alright, sprigs and rope. Sprigs, rope, clay, and pebbles. And it looks like we're pretty much what we're waiting for. Yeah, sprigs, rope, Clay pebbles. But we're also going to locate where the stink bug parts are really quick while we're over here. Alright, stink bug. There's no way there's a stink bug part over here. Oh, wait, I know what they're saying. It's in an egg sack. I want to know where to get the most stink bugs though. That's going to be in the toxic area though, isn't it? There's some a little closer maybe. Uh, I guess I wouldn't know. It only scans the areas we've been. Wow, that's a lot of stink bug parts in there. In the hedge it looks like. Boom, what's this? The mysterious machine field station. That's mysterious machine. Where's the kid case? Okay. Alright, I got an idea. We're gonna give up and then respawn at kid case and then go for that stink bug. Three hundred meters, not that bad. Oh, we didn't grab our gas mask. Man, we need the gas mask to fight him or we'll die instantly.
Nice and safe. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want to swap the whole thing. All right. How far is it from here? Only 355. That's not bad. We'll run it. Meals on wheels. Oh, you know what, though? Let's take off Hauling Hero for this and put on Natural Explorer, so we're just a little bit faster. And then before we fight him, we need to put on uh, Parry Master. 22 arrows to fight him with, too, so if we're lucky, we can just stand from a distance and just... Pew, pew. Ropes, sprigs, and pebbles. We need to grab them on the way. Ropes, sprigs, pebbles, and any clay. Play in here anywhere? Yes. Nope, that's the wrong item. Okay, not bad, not bad anymore. Got more pebbles and stuff. A little bit more food over here. Oh, hello, Orb Weaver. No thanks. I'll mind my business, and you mind yours, and we'll both go in. on our way. You, oh, you say that to the ant, but you're not worried about the giant spider that was, you know, perusing towards you, basically? <gasps> nah, he's chill with the orb weavers. Oh, you're not saying it's... Oh, they are saying it's in there. Check this out. Uh, totally safe, not at all sketchy, or in the ground. Get away, get away, get away. Oh, we're dying for sure here. It's just the poison itself is gonna kill us before we get away. Yep, see, even though we parried the attacks, it didn't matter, we died from the poison. Closest field station. Because then we can go ahead and do this. Go to the surveyor again. Stink bug part one more time. And then unmark that. Because we are not looking for those. We'll go over here. Seems like a little bit safer of an option. Just a tad. As many sprigs and fibers as we can get on the way. As well as rocks. And clay. I would just take enough fall damage. Fiber. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Bunch more sprigs. Oh man, not these little red mites. They're so annoying. Oh, Having we got our first peak. stink bug. All right, let's put it on. You can be smart, fast, lucky, or just wear some armor. Pretty go. Oh, okay. 
Let's try to pick up all my arrows here. <gasps> Well, we only had 22 when we started, so. How many stink bug parts did we get? Three? We need one more, at least. To make the tier 2 hammer, then we can go around getting the molars that we know where they are at. Oh my god, I walked literally into a mite heaven. <laughs> More pebbles. Where you at? Yeah, that's a lot of might fuzz though, I'm not gonna complain. Really? I mean I will if they keep attacking me. <laughs> Okay, 15 peblets. We just need to find one more stink bug. I'm just gonna get rid of him as I- ooh! As I see him then. They're just gonna chase me anyways. All right, Mr. Stinkbug. Wait, why did it say there's some here? You know what? There is definitely downed enemies in the poison area, and we have the gas mask, so we should be able to go right through it just fine. What's gonna be up here, though? Oh, a scabby! <laughs> Um, um, I don't like that as an option. You can stay down there, Mr. Infected Ladybug. I want my arrows back. Jump from this height will kill me. Ooh, pretty close. Man, we need one more stink bug. at all this whole place is infected to all hell oh no oh my god I'm like weak to them my stuff does no damage oh I have infected mites already or what already okay don't you need at least a tier 2 axe to take care of the fun guy down here <laughs> believe so Can't chop any of this up to pick it up. That's kind of sad. Stay away, buddy.
Oh, wow. Okay. Y'all got some fighting you? That's that's fair. Pebblets in there. Uh, we need crude rope for the drying rack before anything else. But we can get more out of our buck. Mm, what else do we need sprigs for really quick? I want to make sure. Okay, cool. Cookery done. We almost got coziness level 3 from that. Well, almost. Alright, let's switch out the gas mask. A little I'll hard to see up. what's going on. Yeah, I'm not wasting the clay on that. So here's what we'll do. We get one to one ratio if we use the spinning wheel. Well, for once I have everything except for sap. So nah, we won't build a third one. Our old axe is in there. We'll need another one of these for our old hammer here soon. But we should move this. What do you mean requires wall? Does this not count as a wall? Okay, I guess it doesn't count as a wall unless you're like way up on it. I need five clay per one of those. Crude rope for those, need at least five. And this needs what, five? Okay, so one spinning, both of the spinning wheels being complete will finish the two main things. So let's put the sprigs in here while we can. Twelve more rope to finish the chairs. Seventeen rope total. If we're going to worry about any other items we might be adding Shout on there. Down. Consume that for some food. Okay, we gotta definitely put a roof up here at some point. Mm, I have to make the wall a second layer higher. Just because of the dew collector and stuff. Okay, we'll have to put a half wall up on that again until it's all the way up. Oh, the door is blocking me. We are definitely going to need more planks, but right now I'm more worried about getting the rope situation taken care of. And we should also fix this. Uh, which I cannot do. Okay, let's move this. Recycle it. Drop. And then we'll over go over to craft here. We'll find the flooring and the walls and go to the regular half wall A. X. X. And then... Yeah, at that point we'll go down one, change it. Make sure it matches the... Yep. And I can't because it's unsupported. Now can I? Alright, sweet. And that'll at least make that wall almost look like the rest of it. I don't know why this one's still missing. Okay, it might be that that's in the way really quick, so let's just... It was. Okay, now we'll move it up. Uh, we're gonna need lights inside upstairs too at some point.
Oh, we do have one behind the bed. Alright. And can we even fit one behind the cooker there? Actually, though. Okay, we just need some sap. Six, what, nine sap? Okay, let's check our rope. Hurry up and go to sleep and we wake up by six, hopefully. Perfect. Finally back on time for our sleep schedule in game. All those rope down there now should be finished. We'll keep going with more. Alright, dew collector is important first. Then this. Then we can go and put our berry leather on there. You know what, for now let's move it inside to give us more um, coziness for right now. Because the more coziness, the better. This is going to be tacky up here, we got to leave it out there for now. It's not done anyway, so it doesn't even count towards coziness. Okay, we don't even have the berries on us. Berries is our next priority. Oh, they're probably going to be in this one. Oh, wow, no. Uh, yeah, we got to scan that still. Keep that. Keep the bow on me. I don't know how that gets moved around. Clay can go in there. No, it can't. Now it can. Put those in there. Sort backpack and then sort the storages. Okay, well, that works out. Now we just need what, 19 sap? 18 sap? Somewhere around there. Come back, get the rope out, then we can finish some of the chairs. And then. Mm hmm. We need one more stink bug part at least. That's going to be over by the red ant hill. Ooh, really quick. What do we need to make a marker for that? We should have done that a while ago. Oh, we're missing sprigs, but we can pick those up on the way. So why don't we do this, right? Place it, craft the stuff in, cancel it, pick it up. Boom, it pulled it out of the storage for us. Now all we need is two sprigs. And we'll get that on the way to the ant hill. We are in full red ant armor, right? Okay, yeah, good. They'll leave us alone then. Only reason I'm going by there is because there's two stink bugs that, or two or three stink bugs that live over there. I hear the raw science. Probably on top of the juice container. Where is map? Okay, so if that's a field station, it's probably going to be around there. We can only hope. Wait, was I actually accurate with that? Alright. Hey, I'm not complaining. 
Soldier ants should leave us alone because we're in full radiant armor. Set our spawn point here in case we lose against the stink bugs. Or no, we'll just build a marker. That'll be a lot easier. Big ant! Big ant! Like right about here should be fine. And we'll put it as... Yeah, this. And then we'll put it red for red ants. And then we'll even title it... Red ants. A red ant hill. There we go. And now whenever we leave here, we'll have red ant hill ready for us to uh, know where it is. Stink bug should be over here in this mess. So we're gonna want to put on our eye patch. For, oh no, fast, gas lucky. mask. Just wear some armor. We do have 22 arrows, so let's try. As much health as we can drain on the way over here, the better. Alright, let's go. Three stink bug parts? Is that three more stink bug parts? I am not complaining. 21 arrows, and our 22nd one should be over here. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not winning against three of you guys. Not even the red ant guys we're losing over here to them. Well, I mean, three of them, yeah. Nah, -uh, you ain't getting free of the battle. Nope, that was a larva, I heard it. Yeah, I ain't fighting infected larva. Oh, I guess I am. Oh, what? Did he jump after he died? That was funny. Okay, we got fungal growth. Let's get our arrows back, though. And some free red ants. Why not? What I really came over here for is the stink bug, though, because... And we got all of our arrows back. Let's go back to the stink bugs one more time. Just kind of pull one away again and try to fight it. it. Seems to be the best maneuver so far. he gave up there for a second he kind of just like walked away like ah, I'm good and back to 22 arrows how many stink bug parts do we have right now nine my god okay that's all right stocking up for future we ain't gonna have to go hunting for a while I got him before he pooped Oh, 
Boom! Master Archer. No, I'm just kidding. I missed quite a few shots. That's not master level yet. But pretty dang close. Woo! <laughs> I will accept it. Any other stink buggies over here? My. There's no way. There was five stink bugs over here? too many stink bugs over here we're at 15 stink bug parts because of how many were over here but stink bugs proved to be no challenge so that's always good five stink bugs taken care of let's go couldn't have asked for a better treat what do we have over here oh mixer huh Okay, defend against red ants and mites. Difficulty low. We don't have enough weapon, like good weapons to deal with them yet. I, I say we wait. We don't even have a smithing station built for upgrading our weapons yet. That's right, we're gonna shortcut home. For a moment. When I, when I died there, the reason I paused was because everything in my bar said zero here. And I was like, there's no way I lost all that stuff. I was thinking to myself, like, that's crazy. We never hung up the berry leather. All I did was organize the dang storage. Wait, didn't we need Bombardier parts, too, for the other... I think so. Let's change out of that mask again. Okay, no more available for the crude rope, but we can do web fiber. That'll be good for zip lines. Make some silk rope for that. No way! We're able to do all three of our chairs. Sweet! Oh wait, that's what we needed. Go back down, go back down, all the way to the bottom. Smithing station. We need a brittle plating, a brittle whetstone, four crude rope, and two sap. We need a bunch of sap, too. Our smithing station should probably go downstairs here with the uh, crafting stuff. Like right there next to there. That makes more sense to me. But we need uh, f a total of four crude rope, one sap, one brittle plating, one brittle whetstone, which we haven't crafted either of yet. Brittle whetstone, brittle plating, boom. Put those each in there, now we just need four crude rope and a bunch of sap. We needed at least 18 for the other stuff, for the lights. And then one more for this, so 19. And what are we missing for our hammer? Is it just the berry leather now? Yup. We just need a berry leather. Well, four of them. So we're gonna have to wait for one more round after that dries out. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than Grab nothing. some water. And what's... Okay, that's a weird notification on that. Like a weird symbol. Unless it's one of the... I think it's just one of the survival challenges, and that's why it's marking Meals highlighted for us like that. So we're gonna at least 20 sap. To be sap <laughs> I'm sorry, dumb dad joke. I couldn't help myself. sap -disfied? That's great. Nine, ten. Already halfway there, okay. Wasn't there another sap clump up here, I think? Is that water hanging from under a leaf? Let's go. 
free acorn shells and stuff. Don't mind, don't mind. I say free like I can't just break it myself. Come on, there we go. 13. Only roughly seven more. can just stay in there. I don't want to deal with you at all. <clears throat> Two more. I know we needed at least 19, but I want to make sure I grab one more just in case. <gasps> hey, there we go. 21. That is three wolf spiders around the tree. But 25 sap. And there's the orb weaver over there on the branch. Our goal is just to make it home. We need to change our home color though because it matches the red anthill and that kind of messes me up a little bit. Alright, let's change this really quick. Just the color. We'll change it to, like, yellow. That way it's obviously different. Man, we got the set, but we didn't get the rope. <coughs> or, not the rope. Yeah, the rope. Oh, okay, I was like, why is it like there's something on the wall there? Those are done. Just the ones on the balcony now. Nice. We are going to need a lot more planks for this wall, though. And a bunch more clay and sprigs and rope. I don't know if I wanted to put that clay in there right now. I'd already committed to it, it was too late. Alright, four crude rope, that's just 12 pieces of the dry fibers, so. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Extra is always good too. Might as well grab this sap while we're over here. Alright, we could technically turn each one of these into a fiber, like a rope, by spinning them. Maybe we should do that. Could craft two of them at least. At least so our smithing station's done. But now we're gonna need a whole bunch of whetstone and plating. Uh, what's gonna be probably one of our forever weapons we can upgrade right now? We should probably upgrade this. Just as something to fight with. Level 4. Pretty good. That's plus 20 damage already, plus Barbarian, plus... Yeah, they got no chance.
kind of like I have no chance against these hiccups right now. <laughs> Alright, the place is coming together nicely right now. What is going on here? Is there something in the way? I'm assuming that's what the deal is. There's something in the way. It should be like hung on the fireplace. Yeah, there we go. Just for now, kind of increases our coziness a little bit too, if we have them all closer together. Because remember, once we reach that level of coziness, we don't technically like need to keep it that way, we can move it. It's just for a temporary, like, fix. That's going to be hard to reach. Um... Hmm. What else can we do here, other than waiting for the rope? Well, technically, we're waiting for berry leather. Alright, let's hot deposit. Throw those in there, why not? Ooh, fungal growth, we could always scan that. We're gonna need at least one more berry leather for that. Man, can we sleep yet? No. At least another, like, real life minute. Roughly. Okay, what do we need for this? Six crude rope. And what? Four Bombardier parts. I know where we can get some quick Bombardiers. But let's put on some mutations first. Take off Natural Explorer, put on Barbarian. Leave Cardio Fan for recovering our stamina during a fight. It Actually, let's test the strength spot. on this Orb Weaver. I swear that would have been a perfect timing any other time. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Okay, not bad. It's not the best, but it's not bad. I feel like I could have done more. Where's my bow? Why do I not have a bow anymore? One does not simply lose a bow. So where did it go then? Did I put it in storage on accident and not even realize it? I think I might have. I did! How did that get in there? I hot deposited. Huh. Got a lot of stink bug parts, though, if we need stink bug parts. I also gotta stay away from the water's edge now because of the mosquito problem. about the orb weaver. Science is surprisingly Okay, I kind of care about awesome. it when it looks at me like that. 
Meals on wheels. Oh man, oh man. I know that there are literally some of the bombardiers over here. We saw our 22 arrows, there's one. Before you shoot me, buddy. I don't care so much about the the boiling gland. I want more of the bombardier parts right now. All right, that's all of our arrows. Yeah, 22 of them. Where was that other bombardier? I know he was over here somewhere. Come on, I saw him. Am I supposed to trust this dark cave? Cause I don't. I thought there was an area over here where they slept under. Mm, big hot dog. Warp Weaver? Hey okay, there, wait buddy. a minute. <coughs> we are getting way away from where they sleep. It's like right around here somewhere or something. Hey, there's one of the milk molars. That I believe we need a tier 2 hammer for, so we can't pick it up yet. No, that messes me up. Where's that other guy? He was over here. Hey, it's Frankenlein! We can draw stuff on him. Alright, where was he? We gotta scan through until we see him again. Here, Bombardier! Okay, we got an Orb Weaver. You don't see that Bombardier? I know there was two of them because I saw the other one behind him. <gasps> is that a mosquito sound? It is. I'm not fighting mosquitoes. Nope, I will lose that battle every time. Ooh, wait a minute. Hello, Clay. Alright, at least 18 more clay for the storage. Let's go. You know what, I realized we should have upgraded our bow. Like, also. I feel like that would have been a definite good idea. Oh, we can draw little pictures. <sighs> nah, you know what's messed up though, is I know from over here that like, there used to be a Bombardier den. That was like right here under a big piece of wood. 
type thing, and now it's gone. Unless this is it. But the other bombardier deserted then, he just gave up and left once the other guy got, like, got taken care of, you know? Oh, there he is! Hey, buddy, where have you been? Ow. Nah, buddy. Yes, that's the Bombardier parts we needed for the other, um, the other drying rack. And we got all of our ammo back. I know exactly what we're gonna do. Fast travel back home, basically. Respawn. Our berry leather dried out out there. Let's build this. At least with the Bombardier parts, which we still have one left. Tastes good. Call that a win. One, two, three, and put our last berry leather on there for now. And then we need six crude rope, which I believe should be done on here. Put three on there, and three on there. Alright. Let's put that away. Actually, we can put all of that away. Even the berry leather. But I will keep the rope on me since it's going to be going to this anyways. A boom. Where should second drying rack go? It won't fit right in between here, unfortunately. I don't want it to look bad in here. Isn't there half vertical walls? There used to not be. So let's get rid of that and copy that. We can just put three of them up. Get rid of that. Little privacy wall for the cookery. But then this looks natural there and not ridiculous. And then we'll go ahead and sleep now. 6 a.m., perfect. Couldn't ask for a better time to wake up, especially because that means that it'll be easier for us to get our leather quickly. You know what that means, guys? Guess what we can go make now? Our tier 2 hammer. Let's go! Which means... We gotta put our old one away. And our new one already took the old one's place. Let's go. So let's also go to the smithing station with what we have left and upgrade our bow. Level two. I will take it. All right. Level two bow, level four red ant club. Now we just need a total of three milk molars, so that way we can get, um, holding three mutations, which will be amazing. I really want to get the three mutations. We can have up to five eventually. Am I stuck under a mushroom for real? Okay. Trying to avoid all the spiders, not wake them up. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh. 
I thought I just got myself busted by walking in their web, but I'm really glad that I didn't. That made me a lot happier. <laughs> Let's not get busted this early, like, come on. I know there's one under this can. I know there's one over by the wall by the spiders. Alright, let's go. Head over here, try not to get attacked and get another one. Meals on wheels. We should take off Barbarian while we're doing this. Ooh, steal item. Rascal Rogue, yes. Have a chance to steal items from your opponents when fighting them. Which means we'll have a chance of stealing parts that from them. That was refreshing. Flower petals are always good to have backups of. Okay, baby orb weaver does not see me. I see the tooth. If that's the case, I'll put on Barbarian and Rascal Rogue and then fight this thing. In fact... Aw, oh man. Let's go, come on. Come on, Orb Weaver. Alright, buddy, you want to play with the big guns? Big guns it is! <laughs> now our character's hungry, so our stamina's really low. Let's get our back up arrow from over here. I don't want to lose that, even if it's... Nope. I'm getting my arrow, dang it. Ooh. Oh, okay, good to know where Bombardiers are. Oh my god, that's a mosquito. I don't want to deal with the mosquitoes. What else? I'm gonna say, you're kidding me, There's, there can't be anything else still fighting me right now. Is it worth it to fight the Bombardier again? Oh, headshot! You guys see that?
boom. Double bombardier. <laughs> and we just need to get all of our arrows back. 21 and 22. Got some molars. Do we need more clay right now? No, but we know where to get some now on both sides of the pond. Alright, let's give up so we can be straight back home easy peasy quickly. Which is kind of a double plus because it also resets our hunger bar now. So we don't have to have the low stamina for the temporary time being. It's no lemon crime, but it's better than nothing. Alright. Almost all of the armor stands ready. Put that up for now. We're not going to be using it for a little bit. We'll kind of make little cornered off rooms here, you know. Um, where are the doors at? Yeah, that'll work. Or maybe no doors is better. Yeah, just like little dividers for the area. A little bit more cozy that way. Gonna need all the silk rope we can get. We don't know how many it's gonna cost to repair that zip line, so. Uh, rope. The shovel there, and perfect. Got everything put away now, too. Craft the weevil shield, which I don't think we can do yet. No, we cannot. <clears throat> we are just missing raw weevil meat. That should be easy to get. Four weevils. Okay, it might be a little bit harder if we don't see any around here. They are always getting chased around here though, so it shouldn't be that hard. That's an ant. Alright. Let's take a look at what we've gotten done so far. <clears throat> Majority of the inside of the house. Bottom area, nice and clean. Yeah, I like it. Coziness almost maxed up too. Oh, that's right. We got new decorations with the new coziness level. Oh, we should just use this between there. little bit closer together ah, that's, that one's all crooked though <laughs> I don't like that that one's crooked It's good enough. It's gonna have to work. Alright, good enough. It adds a little separation to the cookery. It makes it look a little, you know, cozy-cozy. 
We should add an ant candle onto the table though. That did look like it would look good. Get an acorn shelf up here somewhere. Just need two sprigs. Put an ant candle on the table. All we're missing is a spider fangs for a spider candle. Ant candle will work. Alright. Brightness. It's not in the middle. That'll work. Alright. Just need some more grass for this. And what else can we put up decoratively that will look nice in the house? Do we have larva mounts yet? Larva mount. We'll need a Bombardier mount. My god, that's huge. Wait, isn't that what that is? Yeah, let's not make two of them. Ladybug mount. I don't think we have that one yet. Here, let's keep it over by the fireplace for more cozy first. Then we'll move them later. Almost to cozy level 3. We have a spiderling mount. We don't have the mite mount yet, though. Water boatman mount. We don't have that one either. Stink bug mount. We don't have that one either. Hey, there we go. Coziness level 3. Emote unlocked. Sit. Koi scale shelf, trash can, hot tubs, gum partitions, bunk beds, crow awnings. Let's go. Now let's see what we can put up here also. Oh, a hot tub would be awesome. We don't have pine cones or any of that stuff yet. Trash can. Crude rope and dry grass. It'd be nice for just decorative purposes. Keep it by the table maybe dry grass crude rope sprigs any more crude rope on here no dry grass crude rope and sprigs there's some sprigs down here <gasps> At least three or so. And then crude rope and dry grass. Meal zombie. Hello. I needed that. I need another three if I can find them. Wait, I heard the I heard the weevil. Number two. We need technically we need two more raw weevil meat. They always gotta be near the mushrooms. Aha! Bruh. No shot, his body went into the wall. Oh, it didn't. I just picked it up really quick. I was like, bruh, there's no way. I heard him.
There he is. I mean, if you guys are just gonna present yourself. <clears throat> make our way back home here. Where's our cardio fan level three? You would think at the amount of times that we've ran out of stamina now, we would have already unlocked it. On the bright side, extra weevil noses. Oh wait, that would be in weapons, huh? What are we missing now? Just a crude rope? Which is more important though? Still need dry grass for that. Yeah, there we go. For now, we should put it over here. Now it lowered the coziness. Now we'll put it back. Alright, not bad, not bad. We still have that crude rope though. I want to put it somewhere. Maybe we should make it into the shield. It'll finish one of our things and give us a permanent defense. We'll do that. 150 raw science. And now we have a shield which we can put on our inventory down there. So whenever we need to, we can literally block and pew. Sweet, another armor dummy done. Eye patch going on. Alright, so we got one for the gill tube, one for the gas mask, and one for the eye patch. One for our old hammer, and another frame for our old axe. Then we've got all these little cutesies. Let's get a little bit of grass to, to put these walls up really quick. We need like 12 pieces, anyways. Alright, I guess we in this orb we were having this battle from here. Yeah, let's get out of this position. I don't like this at all. I think I may have <laughs> messed up the way the orb weaver was moving too, because like, I don't think it knew what to do in that situation either. It's only 21. We're short in the arrow. Oh, there it is. Alright. Let's cut down this grass. Where was the grass it was on? I think it was this one. Looks like a pretty big one. Oh, that's right. We can only carry 19 unless we have hauling here on. Oh, wow. We got 24. Wait, I gotta know how this looks. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous! Bro's carrying a mountain of planks. Alright, let's put them away. 
That's awesome. I didn't think we could carry that many, but I'm not gonna complain. Oh, I'm stuck. Huh. Okay. <gasps> well, that will solve our issue of the plank situation. Will not, however, fix our issue of the lack of uh, the dummy armor pieces. And two dry grass, which of course I forgot to grab. How is there aphid honeydew up here? Is there an aphid in my house? Having a little bit. getting unmarked too. We really gotta get up there. Marking a the location. We'll do that next episode, though, for sure. But right now, let's get our dry grass. Alright, we'll build our little trash can, and that should be... All of our nice design stuff built for now, minus our armor set dummies. Hey there, buddy. We'll worry about the armor stands next time. <gasps> All right, look at that. Nice little uh, kitchen wall going. start putting some of these little mounts around like that <gasps> just kind of space them out make the whole place a little more homey feel Maybe that one shouldn't be in the back because of how big it is. Maybe that should be one that goes up here. And then we can move the little spider into here. And that'll look a lot better. Because that looks like it belongs on the like front of a fireplace because of how big it is. Oh, hello, Mr. Crow. You guys seen the crow yet? Oh, if you haven't, there you go. That looks ridiculous up there. I realize that now. If we kind of space them around, they'll look a little better, you know? The ladybug one. Brad, don't, don't go sideways like that. Come on. This one. On the opposite side wall here. And that just leaves, what, the mite, which is kind of hidden, but we'll put that here on the side. That kind of spaces out our uh, coziness a little bit. Tastes good. Slurp some water. Take our extra weevil meats and cook them. We should scan it first. Raw science. Raw science is good science. Available. What do we got? Daily kill nets. Raise the banner of Burgle at Trowel Gulch and the craft in the canteen. Hmm. Okay. 9,220 raw science.
cookbook for the hedge or the daredevil. What's meat shield do? Max health. I think we'll be fine in that area. We should get the sign sets though and change our intro signs. Alright, we will definitely get more raw science through the daily quest, so I'm not too worried about getting more. We scanned the meat, which means we can put it on the thing, and let's change these really quick. Yeah, I like that. Alright, let's use this one. It's lemon crime. All right, we'll put one of Max, because it is his place, you know, that's who we are. And then we'll do, there we go, one for that, I like that one. And we'll change this one to be the rip symbol, because why not? And this is our new signs now, guys. Take a glance at them. That's what we'll be walking past every time we come in here now. Or actually, should we move these upstairs? We should move some of these up here. Yeah, I like it. We'll, we'll move some of them up here. Just a few. <gasps> We'll keep the three down there in the middle, but we'll take the two end ones and put them around up here. Oop, where can we put this where it'll look nice? Boom! I like it. That was okay. refreshing. We still didn't put other food on here, dang it. Just like a fruit pounder. And we'll eat that. I don't want to take all the decorations out from under here, but eventually it will be storage, so we'll just move the vase. <clears throat> the vase will probably go better in the kitchen area, like the dining room area. And then right across and over here is the cookery. And then when we unlock the fridge later on, we'll make space for the fridge and like either put it on a shelf up here or something, or I don't know. We'll figure something neat out. But it's coming together, guys. It's really coming together. Sleep till 6 a.m. All right. Sweet. All we have to do now, guys, is just put up all our walls, add the roof, maybe another floor if we really want to, finish the zip line over there, and then we can, you know, start worrying about other things than the base at the moment. Just as a safety precaution, you know? Yoink. And yoink. But, guys, that is probably where we're going to leave it right now for episode three of the Grounded series. I wanted to thank you guys all for joining in and watching. If you like the content, hit that follow button. It really helps me to grow the channel. And, you know, spread the content out there to others who might want to see it. Um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube and you like the content, hit that like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so hard your screen breaks <laughs> if you don't want to miss another upload. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining me here in the Gamer Zone. I've been your host, The Strangest Gamer Tamer, and I will check you guys in the next one. Have a good one.